Welcome, everybody, to the latest episode of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and today we're going to look at Iowa tight end Noah Fant. Here's a guy in draft circles, um, and even college football circles, are just so high on this, this dynamic tight end. Um, and if you're not familiar with what we do here in these film room sessions, is I'm going to look at this game against Ohio State. I'm going to highlight about five or six clips from that game that just kind of shows you the type of prospect, athlete, that Noah Fant is. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, you know, Fant, you know, six foot five, two hundred forty one pound tight end. He's only a junior. Um, you know, tremendous athlete, uh, good hands. I'm going to show you right off the bat uh, how good his hands are and just how good he is at adjusting. So here he is. He plays. Um, he's at, here at the tight end. He plays a lot in line. This is going to be very helpful for him transitioning to the NFL because he's he shows the ability to play in line. He can block. He's got that experience. A lot of these tight ends are like right here or out wide, and they have to transition to putting their hand in the dirt. Per se, um, he's got that. He got that. Uh, experience that skill set already so that's definitely going to help him but he's going to run a little drag route and the ball is going to get thrown behind him so here he is a okay. the ball is going to be thrown behind him and he's able to turn and adjust to make that catch for the first round first down so as you see here hey okay, he's running he's open that ball's behind him he's able to turn around not only is he able to turn around but he's got hit and able to hold on to that ball and, and get that first down. You know, that a horrible, that could have been a bigger hit. Um, he was willing to, you know, spin in there and make that catch. Another example of his adjustment, it was later on in the game, and this was for a touchdown. Um, they're in the goal line set, going to be right here. And Fant's actually in motion. You know, he either plays a lot of times in line or kind of the H-back, kind of just off the, the tackle's butt or... Um, the tight end, and he's going to be in motion. They're going to run a play action, kind of like a speed flat type route, and he's able to get open here, but what's remarkable is he's able to once again spin back and go low to make that catch. Um, I'll show it one more time, a little bit slower. But as you see here, the ball's coming from behind, and he's able to spin back and make that catch uh, from the ground. Okay? The, the fact that he's able to do that shows that body control that you want out of your tight ends, you want out of your receivers to, as you see another view of it here, he's able to go down, get his hands underneath the ball. You know, that ball didn't hit the ground. Okay? Hands are underneath of it. Okay? Make that catch, bring it to his body, and maintain through the process. In the NFL, that's a catch. Hey, we don't know what the catch is a lot of times, but that's a catch. Um, he's also got a uh, good route running ability. Um, as we see in this clip, he's going to kind of run an out, uh, kind of like an out and in. So he's right here. He's going to end up running towards the sideline, but then cut it up. And he doesn't get the ball here, but look how crisp this cut is. Hey, okay, runs out. Stu Video froze for a second. Back it up just a little bit. Okay. But he's able to, as you see here, cut out, make that sharp cut in. He's open. Okay? The quarterback was going to throw the ball into the end zone and it got tipped, but he was open underneath here. Um, Could have been an easy five, six, seven yard gain. But he shows that route running ability. Um, like I said, he's a good athlete. Okay? Um, he's going to run, in this next clip, he's going to run a drag. So here he is, once again, in line. And he's going to do a deep drag over the middle. And just look at how quick he gets out into this route and how fast he is. Okay? So he's able to just get quick out. And look how, he, I mean, he's moving. That, that's a tight end. That's a six foot five, 241-pound tight end sp sprinting and running there. That's incredible. And what's going to be even more incredible, okay, is this uh, this touchdown that I show you right here? And he's okay. He's gonna be lined up on the okay. 
Okay, he's going to be lined up um, on the right-hand side. Once again, he's kind of split in that H-back position. He's going to run kind of a wheel route. This safety is matched up. They're trying to match him up with a safety. And you think, oh, hey, safety, they're probably going to throw the ball up. He's going to use his size uh, to box him out and go up and win that contested catch. Nope, he out-athletes an Ohio State safety. So you see he's going on that wheel route. He's able to just outrun him. And they're going to we'll see another clip. Okay. Here he is right here, matched up with this guy right there. He's able to just turn on the Jets, just sprint past him, and make that catch. Speed, I mean, that takes athletic ability. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, it's, it's relatively running a straight line, but he's able to run down there, make that catch, get his feet in bounds, and beat number four, who, uh, you know, I'm sure is not a, you know, if he's, Playing and starting and in this game at this point, I mean, it's a uh, it's Ohio State's losing at this point. So you know for a fact this guy's a, a player and he's able to just make him look silly. Um, a couple years ago, OJ Howard was a guy I had a top ten grade on, um, highest I've ever given a a tight end, and I think fans gonna surpass that. Um, his ability in the 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 passing game, his ability to run deep, his his speed, his athleticism. Everyone's already anticipating him putting up huge numbers at the combine. He's going to be good. He's only a junior, though. So once again, could he come out after this season and go into the 2019 NFL draft? Yes, very well. Okay. Could he stay in college and, and come back for his senior year and go in 2020? Yeah, could. Whether No matter either year, He's going to be the top tight end in the class. He's going to be a first round lock. Uh, you know, OJ Howard went 19 to the Bucks. I would not be shocked if Noah Fant went top 10. I mean, we, we had Eric Ebron go in the top 10. Um, I don't know why, especially in that little bit of class. But um, OJ Howard slipped a little bit because of, of team needs and the fact that he's a tight end. I think I think Fant's a guy that's gonna gonna shatter that nineteenth pick. I think he's contending more at that that Eric E run. So um, definitely a player to really watch. You know, Iowa should have another solid team this year. He's gonna play against a lot of good competition. This Ohio State team he played against uh, you know, two uh, at least one one of the linebackers was drafted, the other one is already on the team. Um, played with a lot of good talent. He can block too. I didn't show any of his highlights of him blocking, but he can block also. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you follow me at draft underscore Brian on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, make sure you subscribe to these videos to, get, uh, to my channel to get all these videos. Make sure you're hitting up NFLDraftGeek.com on a daily basis. I hope you guys like it. Until next time.